That's the tom break, right? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to the new Rockon vlog. What's up guys? So, I've heard this time you prepared something different for us. Usually we do this thing in one day, yeah. but what about now? Yeah, this time we're gonna shoot the vlog for a full week. Our goal is to go to the MotoGP race in France to the legendary track of Le Mans. So yeah, you're gonna follow us now how we prepare for the show. And also on the way we prepared something special and then we're gonna end on the yeah. MotoGP race. Damn, that sounds nice. How do you feel about it? Are you nervous? Uh, just in case, I will not race, I will do a stunt show there. And I'm super nervous because MotoGP race means a huge place to cover with the tricks. And it's super hard to do that. And for that we need special planning. So let's go to the workshop. For the technical wheelie tricks I'm gonna use my KTM 790 Duke stunt bike. And... For the super fast drifts, burnouts and wheelies, the beast, the KTM 1290 Super Duke are evil. Roger, what do you think about this tire? Still good for another <laughs> burnout? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it done its job. Tons of drifts with 180 horsepower. That's the result. A lot of damage. <laughs> Holy Look at all this damage! Look at this one. This one needs to be changed as well. And this is pretty bold, so definitely new tires. Let's go! Rock, what are we doing now? And we are changing the gear ratio. I want to make it shorter, which is better for the drift. So I have more, even more torque on the low RPM. And yeah, it's easier to drift. So in the back, we have the stock 38 teeth and we're gonna change to 40. And then on the front, 17 and we're gonna go 15. To hang better on the bike while going sideways, I would like to add some grip on my tank. That's why I have the tank grip. Let's put it on. Yeah, we got grip here. In case you want to know, this is our grip tape. It has a nice rubbery material and adds grip inside of your leg. And when you hang from the bike, you can hang with your knee way better on the tank. So that's it. Now we need to protect the beast. In case of a crash, you always scratch the lower part and KTM has these cover protectors. engine is protected, the lower part, now we need to protect the upper side and also the side plastic with the crash bobbins. Okay. What's next? Tire is done. Next, let's clean both bikes.
ready to see the biggest warehouse yeah. of helmets in the planet? Let's see. Those GoParts? Go-Karts with the Go -karts. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Fresh helmet delivery. This is now the fresh delivery of the helmets. A big container just arrived, so they are filling up the warehouse. And as you can see, it's a popular helmet brand. People love to wear them, which is good. Renato, what do you think about the helmets? What do you think it's the amazing, it's very huge. You know what else is huge? In the search of rock buggers replica in this big warehouse, let's see where they store them. specialty of this year's helmet is that the right side is different than the left side kind of a rock name in a very artistic way and we have really poppy colors on that helmet we just discussed with Francois that we're gonna give away this brand new helmet so what do they need to do actually? Guys, which year was the first contact between Scorpion and Hulk? Drop it in the comments below and second thing, follow Scorpio Sports Instagram account and that's pretty much it, super easy and good luck with the new Rock Buggers Scorpion Exit helmet. Nice drift session to warm up for the Le Mans show. So let's head over. Let's start the MotoGP madness. Let's go. MotoGP time. Now we are going to meet Brad Binder and Jack Miller to ask them the secret sauce, what they use to be so quick on the GP. One track is from Brad Winter and this one is for Jack Miller. So big sponsors, where is Bogger's performance here? Uh, we need to put it close. <laughs> So the boys broke my record how many tires are you spending in a weekend. So yeah, okay, hats off guys. That's a lot of work to destroy that much tires. We're gonna meet now Jack Miller and let's see what he says, what he eats for breakfast, uh, why is he so fast. Freestyle, right? Freestyle, exactly, exactly. First question from the fans is, what do you eat for breakfast before the race? Always the same eggs, uh, like a, yeah, normally bacon, but uh, here they don't have bacon, so it's ham. Okay. Ham, <laughs> just like some scrambled eggs with bacon, ah, or ham and cheese. Yeah, but at home it's always the same. So that's the secret. I do the same thing, so that's why you can ride such uh, good wheels. Actually. Yeah, you need a good breakfast. You need to start the day out correct. Okay. Thanks, mate. Thank Come on, Rock, leave something for the rest of us. <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> That's the RC16 from Jack Miller. Beautiful bike. I see tons of prototype stuff like this 3D printed e-paint for the air, the winglets, the carbon. This brace they heat up until 1000 degrees Celsius, I heard, and that's freaking hot. The aerodynamics, cooling system, huge. Another winglet, see a little detail, probably for turbulation of the air. Oh, check those buttons. Jack Miller has a stun brake, I see. What, what's that? And the brake here. There's a lot of things things I don't even know what they are. Man, how he can ride with this so much buttons. A grip tape, then a super grippy seat here. Oh and I see they have a wheelie bar. Where did they get that inspiration, huh? The gas tank, right? Not really. <laughs> oh, it's it's not a hair box for uh -huh. the throttle body. 
rookie mistake. How much horsepower approximately? Ah, a lot. Around 250? Yeah, maybe a bit more. Top speed? Uh, we beat the speed record in Italy at uh, 362, I think. That's the tom brake, right? I don't know. That's not a tom brake. No, it's not a tom brake. Booking switch. Ah. Super thin carbon swing arm, they said one millimeter thickness. I see titanium not only on the exhaust but also on the bolts. Then you know this is next level racing. <laughs> to go and I can start up my 790 Duke and we're gonna rock for the first time in France. It was a long week and we are finally here for the grand finale at the legendary Le Mans show. 60,000 people are waiting there. I need to admit I'm quite nervous. So let's see what happens. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> 